In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent. Hello kids, how are you today? Fine, Alhamdulillah. The title of the lesson we are going to study today is called Phonics 2. Please open your student book page 112 and workbook page 102. Are you ready? Yes, thank you. What do you expect we are going to study today? UMV. As for the main objective of the lesson we are going to study today, we can say shortly. Objective number one is to identify some armed active words through listening to the CD player. Objective number two is to read the new words hump, jump, bump with acceptable pronunciation. Objective number three is to use known words to complete some sentences. Bump, hump, jump. These are the three words we are going to study today in this lesson. Now, I want you to predict the content of the text we are going to read and study today just by looking at the pictures. I'm going to ask you some simple questions and you are required to try to answer them. Are you ready? Yes. Question number one. What does the boy try to do? He tries to jump on the hump of the camel. Question number two. What happened to him after that? Yes, he had a bump. Very good. After this introductory commentary, we can predict that in this lesson we are going to read about a boy who is trying to jump on the hump, but finally he had a bump. Okay. Listen and say and circle the ump words. بنسمع ونعمل دائرة حوالين الكلمات التي تنتهي بالمقطع الصوتي ump U M P. Listen carefully. Module seven, phonics. One. Listen, say, and circle the ump words. The camel. <laughs> Jack, don't jump on the camel's hump. Oh no, a bump. Now, circle the words that have the same rhyme, ump. Yes, number one, jump. Number two, hump. Number three, bump. These are the three words that have the same rhyme. Now we come to objective number two, which is to read the new words, hump, jump, bump, with acceptable pronunciation, then match them to pictures. Okay, let's read first. Who can read? Hump, very good, yes. Jump, very good, yes. Bump. After reading these three words, now you are required to match them to pictures. Okay, hump, jump, Bump. Now match. Have your time. Hump, jump, bump. Have you finished? Let me check your answer. Yes, jump. Yes, bump. Very good. Great job. Now let's play the following game. I'm going to take out some words from the box, like the following. Hump. Meet, jump, bump, seat. After taking out these words and the pictures from the box, let me ask you, what are the words that have the rhyme ump? Yes, bump, jump, hump. What are the two words that have the rhyme it? Yes, seat. And meet. Great job. After doing that, let's read and cross the odd one out. Activity number three in your pupils' book, page 112. الكلمات الموجودة في أمامك في هذا التمرين و يعني نعمل أو نستخرج الكلمة الغريبة أو المختلفة في النطق. Treat, hum, meet. What is the other one? Yes, hump. 
طبعا كلمة hump نطقها مختلفة على كلمة treat و meet نمبر 2 meet jump bump meet very good نمبر 3 jump hump seat yes كما نلاحظ أن الكلمتين jump و hump have the same rhyme لكن المختلف معهم هو كلمة seat very good great job now once again let me remind you of the words you had learned in this lesson hump jump bump very good uh, now we come to your workbook page 102 and look and say then complete write the missing letter okay in your activity three workbook page 102 number one two three have you finished number one bump p b, b, bump number two hump hum. number three jump j, j, jump very good now we come to closer of the lesson <clears throat> hump jump bump these three words that have the same rhyme u m p hump now look and write then say the sound of each word the camel has got a farag number two there is a farag on my head number three i can farag you can do it as a homework also you are required to copy the new words that have the same rhyme amp in your notebook also do this exercise as a homework look and say the words and write ناخذ الحروف ديت ونرتبها بشكل كلمه زي الكلمه الاولانيه نكتب كلمه jump وهكذا you can do it at home as a homework thank you very much now we come to lesson another lesson which is called let's play page 106 and workbook page 98 are you ready yes in this lesson, we are going to focus on speaking skill only. Okay? Okay. What do you expect we are going to study today? The objective of the lesson <clears throat> in this lesson can be shortened in the following. Objective number one is to identify some new words related to places through listening to the CD player. Objective number two is to identify the main idea of a short reading text through listening to the uh, CD player and looking at the pictures without reading anything. Number three is using the target language to talk about favorite place and the day. Now we come to objective number one, which is to identify some new words related to places. You are required to look at the pictures at the top of your student book and the words written under them. Listen to the CD player carefully, listen and repeat. Listen. Module 7. Let's play. 1. Say the new words. Beach. Forest. Have fun. Buy. Shop. Very good. After listening to the city player, now I'm going to try to keep these words in your mind by following the strategy of learning by photo. In other words, I'm going to display you a picture accompanied with the word, and you are required to look at the pictures and try to read the word accompanied with it. What is this? Yes, peach. What is this? Forest. Yes. Have fun. Very good. Yes. Buy, very good. Yes, shop, very good. Now we come back to your student book, page 106. Let's listen to the lesson and number the pictures. Two, listen and match. Write one to seven. One. It's Sunday. Let's go to the mall. Let's shop. 
Two. It's Monday. Let's go to the beach. Let's swim. Three. It's Tuesday. Let's go to the museum. Let's have fun. Four. It's Wednesday. Let's go to the toy shop. Let's buy a toy. Five. It's Thursday. Let's go to the forest. Let's walk. Six. It's Friday. Let's go to the zoo. Let's see the animals. Seven. It's Saturday. Let's go to the park. Let's run and play. Very good. After listening to the sixth player, you are required to number the pictures from one to seven. Yes. Number one is answered. Number two. Yes. Leah C. Number three. A. Number four. F. Number five. D. Number six. B. Number seven. G. Very good. Great job. Now, I want you to make a conversation between you and your brother or your colleague, okay, using the target language. What day is it? It's a Sunday. Let's go to the mall. Let's shop. As for number two, you can see that. What day is it? It's Monday. Very good. Let's go to the beach. Let's swim and, and so on. Now, as a homework, you are required to do Activity number one, page 98, pupils book. Okay, let's go to the page. Number two, let's go to the page. Number three, let's shop. Number four, let's buy a toy. Okay, now we come to closer of the lesson. Arrange the days of the week. Yes. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job. Now, look at the pictures and then talk about it using the target language. It is Monday or Sunday. Let's go to the yes, beach and swim. Very good. Great job. Thank you very much and goodbye.